Hey everybody, JB back with you once again for another CC2 LP1 video. We are on level 61 Broken Rail Yard by Indy Indeed. So let's see what we have here. There's no way to get stuck, but there are some unreachable chips. Alright, so we can use that as our guide to figure out where to go. So thankfully, if we can get chips, that means that we can't get stuck somewhere. So that's kind of a nice way of seeing where the paths lead, ultimately. So that leads there. And this leads here, but... Let's see, how far does this end up going? It goes that far, at least. Okay, that seems to be the end of that line. Okay, here we go. So this forms a loop. That's pretty cool. I like loops. Loops are cool. Loops are really fun. Especially when they make a maze a little less tedious. Okay, so let's go this way. We haven't been this way yet. Okay, this way seems promising. This way less so. Okay, it doesn't seem like... Okay, just that one. I like how that one was very isolated. That's kind of a little different than sort of the way the rest of the level has been presenting the different ships. Can I even get over there? It feels like I should. Okay, so I can't get that. But I can go down here. Okay. I'm guessing, yeah, I can go to that one. Cool. Very, very cool. Alright, so... Can't go in there, it would seem. Oh, wait, I can go up here. Why didn't I try that wall earlier? Okay. So... I can't really go there, but I bet I can go into this one. Yeah, I can go... I can do that one. And then we have a few over here that I still haven't gotten. Including... Yeah, that one. Yeah, the layout of this maze is really cool. I like it. I feel like I still have yet to get stuff over here. So let's do these. And then that. Okay. So then... Can't do anything there. It's funny, like, what looks like a dead end and what really is. I like the fact that this maze does not really adhere to like any like other than the layout that it presents it doesn't really from a actual layout perspective it doesn't really have any symmetry that it uh, ascribes to regularly which I think is kind of cool so what am I missing here is it those how would I get in there can't get in there okay Let's see. Ah, there we go. That's the that's the one. So I still have one left. I still have one left. So it's none of these. Is it No, I can't get up to that. Man, I can't touch that blue wall. That's going to bother me. I bet it's that one by the start. I bet it's that one right there by where the hint is. I'm going to try to see if I can get that. Yep, that was the one. I guess there's a lot of blue walls we haven't pushed yet. That's all right. All right, so that's Broken Rail Yard. That was a lot of fun. That would be a fun one to optimize. 
Okay, another H2O level's coming up, and I have Sosi down in this slot. Let's see if that's correct. It is! Yes! Awesome. Okay. And I see it's changed a little bit. We have a thing where you can't go through this teleport, which is interesting. I wonder if that's meant to correct a bust. At any rate, though, this is a doppelganger-themed level. Where you can get half of the doppelganger action on one of these things, and then half... Whoops, that is not correct. Um, not on one of them, basically. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, what's the objective here? I need to get this to the gray button, don't I? Oops, no, 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 go back. Wait, did that not affect the one down there? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Okay. I don't know what happened to the other doppelganger, if it's still... Okay, it is. It, it did make it. Okay, good. Uh, I just want to make sure. Like, I couldn't. I didn't know if the mechanism was that consistent or not. Okay, what are we trying to do with this? I might want to actually look at that first. Uh, let's see what we're even doing here. Oh, we're trying to get him over there. Okay. Okay, so if I, as long as I, first of all, let's get it to the middle row. As long as I do that, we should be golden. There we go. All right. So that's Sosi, which is pretty fun. I really liked that one. That I still like that one. It's a really fun level. It's got a fun theme to it. I like the way the mechanisms work. All right. So next level we have is by Mobius, and I have the floodgates open. Let's see if that's correct. Uh, if I can press enter. Swivel tombs. Okay. This is not what I was expecting. So this is a level that's in his uh, Walls of CCLP2 set, and uh, this one is based on Well of Wishes. I found this one a little too similar to Well of Wishes for me to really give it a high rating, but I still think it's pretty fun, though. Okay, so let's see here. Now I believe what you have to do with this is... Send this over? Yeah, okay. So let's go... I need to be very mindful of how this works. There we go. I am not going to go for those bonuses. That involves a lot of dodging, and I'd rather not do that. Okay, so that's going to switch that tank over. Okay, that's probably good enough. Although now I need to switch you over. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. I think that was the room that had the blocks in it before, right? The little block checkerboard? Interesting that it got walls added to it. That's kind of a little weird. 
I guess Mobius did kind of play a little loose with the walls of stuff, though. Oh, no. No, no, no. I just wanted to explore it. Why did I do that? Man, okay. That was a bummer. Bummer. Or as one of my friends likes to say, bummer, baby. I guess I don't really need to get the yellow key there, but... Alright, let's try this here. Sweet, we didn't have to wait that time. Okay, let's go up here first. Okay. That works out. No! I, I thought I went one space farther than that. Why did I think I only went up to that point? Alright. This level is a lot of fun, and it's actually growing on me the more I play it. Like, at first I wasn't the biggest fan of this one, but I don't really mind it as much now. Like I said in my uh, Part Zero video, I, like there's not a level in the set that I can think of that I'm upset is in the set. Like, I can honestly say that. Okay, let's try this again. I really like that room. That that's a that's a cool concept. Okay, so that's for the end. Okay, so then we switch that. Okay, this time let's not do what we did last time. I'm just hoping Uh, if I push this up... Okay, good, it does that. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute here. So I need to go back down. So if I do that, then I can push it up, and then I can go do another one. Okay. I like how this level kind of subtly teaches you things about swivels. Now, granted, you could argue that this was shown in other swivel levels, but I don't know. I, I feel like this one does a good job. Now, I take it this is a ticket for this. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I can dig it. Alright, so we're done here. This puzzle may be small, but don't attempt without a bowling ball. That's right, Mobius had his rhymes. Um. Now, what's the bowling ball thing? I'm guessing it's a swivel... That we're supposed to... In fact, I think I see it. You're supposed to go through here. But then make sure that this is... Yeah, like that. Okay, that, that was pretty simple. So yeah, I can see why this one was placed this early. It's not really that hard. Okay, so the next level I know I got wrong. Because I put Prism Prism in it. So this is probably going to be Flowers of Power, right? This one's a JB level, so let's see which one it is. Yeah! Flowers of Power, alright. So this is one of the ports that I made from uh, Walls of CCLP1. And I gotta say, I, I prefer this version over the original. And I'm glad it made it in. Because uh, this is a really cool concept, I think. So... If I remember correctly... You have to switch characters at some point, but I'm not sure it's here. Let's just play along until we can get to the, the boots, because... Yeah, I want to make sure I can get these boots. Okay, so now I can actually do stuff here. So for now, I, I'm going to just make sure I can destroy those. Watch your step when making this teleport jump. Indeed. Um, I'm actually going to do this Sokoban first, because this is a little tricky, if I remember this one correctly. Because I remember you have to, like, 
get some very specific things going here with these. So let's start there. And I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, that you have to do something like this. So that way you can get over here and then get this one for the final chip over here. That works out. Can we just wait for that? There we go. Okay. So, at this point, I can go back over here. So, wait, did I... I did waste all my green keys as Melinda. So, how do I come back here as Chip? Alright, let, let's start over. I forgot how to solve my level. Alright, let's not do that. Come on. Okay. So I have three red keys, which is interesting. Three red keys. So is there any way to, like, get out without completely taking everything here? I'm going to go ahead and take both green keys, but I'm going to use only one, which I think is what the intended solution is. You're supposed to use all of these there to get these, but then you're supposed to leave a green key for that. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to run with that. So let's go ahead and do this exercise all over again cuz this this worked out pretty well. I really like this puzzle. This is I'm actually really proud of this <laughs> this little Sokoban. It's it's pretty uh it's pretty sweet. Okay, so now let's go become chip. Although, wait a minute. I need skates to become chip, right? Yeah, I can't get out of here without skates. So how do I swing that? Unless, wait a minute. I see skate boots there, which, that's right, the skates are in here. Wah! <laughs> I watched my steps when making the, the teleport jump, but I forgot to watch my step when actually navigating after the teleport jump. Okay, let's get all these. There we go. Okay. So, this part's pretty easy now. This would be a fun one to optimize, too. Okay, I actually don't need to really worry about that here. I can just go here. Okay, so at this point, I can now go in here, become chip, open up all these green doors without any problem. Gotcha. Alright, so now, I can also clear all the dirt here, too. Okay, so that's a Melinda spot. I don't know if I need to clear all of these or not, but I'm doing it. Okay. So now let's go back to being Melinda. Oh, wait! I needed that, didn't I? Oh, wait, no, I don't. I can just do that. I'm good. So now I can just go in here and grab the the last chip. That was fun. That, that was a lot of fun. So yeah, this the only change I really made to this, well, I guess there were several. There, there was the Melinda and chip switching, and then there was the, the removal of the stem part of wedges, which is the level this was based on which is where the exit was originally. I thought this looked a little cleaner, so that really helped a lot. So that's Flowers of Power. All right, the next level I had was originally going to be Asceticism, which we now know is was earlier slightly, so it's going to be something else. So let's see what it is. It's by Jeffrey. It could be Left Behind. It is Left Behind again, which 
I'm surprised they didn't change that title. That's interesting. So this level, the tank reverses when you turn left or reverse. Yeah, you have to make sure that you don't do any of those things. And I just realized you could actually bump against that wall, that door. Down, left, up, right. Okay. Um... That's probably cheating. But I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, let's go to, down over here. Um, so what's the goal here? Is it just to do... stuff with that? Seems a little odd. Oh wait, I could do this. That's right, I could do that. There we go. So where's the bonuses on this that you could double there? Oh, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to look do my prediction. Uh, I had wormhole in the sun for the next one, so that one's also wrong. I actually originally had Insane Asylum in this in this slot, and then I changed it, because I thought maybe that's... Because Chipster has a level in the 131 slot, and I thought maybe this was it, but... It makes more sense for it to be here. Alright, let's go ahead and start playing. I remember having a weirdly large amount of trouble on this when I was voting, so... We'll see how this one goes. I, I like the... Kind of the feel of this one. It's a really odd level, and... I'm glad something like this is in the set, because this is like the sort of thing I would... Really, you have to go right back. This is the sort of thing I may not necessarily like fully appreciate on a first play, but it's one of those things that you appreciate it when you recognize just how it sits relative to the other levels in voting. You know, it's like... Okay, let's do that. It definitely has a very unique feel, and uh, you don't necessarily see that unless you are completely done with voting. So this is like one reason why I wish I had, look, like looking back, I wish I had actually m adjusted my votes after the fact and looked back on all the levels. Because I definitely got a good chance to look back on all the levels when uh, I did my predictions thing, but I wish I had done it even earlier. Okay, this part... I think I mentioned this in voting, but this part really reminds me of Nectar Meadow from CCLP4. Alright. So now I believe we can uh, make a uh, swap character-wise here. And go this away. So let's do that. This is an interesting <laughs> room. Like, I don't know if this is supposed to represent something with the clocks and stuff. It feels like it should mean something, and I, I don't know if it's supposed to mean anything in particular. Alright, so we got that one done. I want to see if we can get to the bonus area. That would be really cool. Because we, we did not do that when we were voting. Okay, this one is going to be a little tricksy. Except not exactly. We can just do that. 
This is the one that's tricksy. It's the this thing. Where you have to contend with the the great tank swapping. Uh... There we go. Okay, so we got everything now, so we should be able to come back here and deploy that dynamite. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm Chip or Melinda for that, right? Okay, let's let's go ahead and do it. The, the nice thing about this is that regardless of where I put it, well, not regardless of where I put it, because it's going to matter, but... That was a very close call there. Uh, the nice thing about this is that I can at least build a path back to the exit if I put it in a nice spot, like maybe this. So let's do that. I can only get some of the bonuses. Oh, wait! I didn't actually build a... Wow. You know what? I'm going to exit. <laughs> I'm just going to move on to the next level. Uh, okay, so the next level is what I believe to be before my very eyes. Tyler made a comment in one of the leaks saying that there are two levels that are walls of levels that are in the exact slot that they their walls came from. And I think this is one of them. The other one was Relics of a Lost Age. So let's see if this is right. Yeah! Alright. So this level is really interesting. It's based on chip mine. But instead of like having the mine thing going on, what this does is it basically builds out the maze as you go, which is really cool as a concept. Like, I'm blown away by this idea. It's it's really neat. Um, I would never have thought of this. Like, this is such a neat idea. But I really like it a lot. And I see that we, we missed some chips already. Well, at least we'll get to see more of the maze built out here. So, there is that. It is interesting to see, like, what's faster in terms of the maze being built out. I don't know. I, I just find it interesting. Okay, so that's still yet to be... Okay, yeah, we haven't been down here much yet. And there's still an area down there, too. This would be a really weird one to optimize. Like, it would definitely be a, an experience. I just love the concept. Like, Joshua Bone made another level called Optimaze, which was definitely interesting. I don't know if it was, like, one of his original, like, CC2 submissions that ended up in the Rejects list, but I thought it was a cool idea, but this is a much better version of that because it doesn't fill up quite as fast. Do I really have to go around the whole way? I think we made it, though. Yes, there it is. Yeah, it's interesting to see how fast certain chips get basically locked in into their spots here in this level. So, yeah, this would be a really fascinating one to optimize. I think my only wish for this level is that the logic weren't hidden, but that's all right. All right, so we got that one right at least. So the next one is an Andrew Menzies level. We have it's been a while since we've had one of those, and I'm gonna say hydrochloric acid factory disaster. I've got that one in nameplate stamping facility as possibilities. So let's see which one it is, or maybe it's something else. Pipe Maze! Okay, that was the next one I had. It was in the 70s in my list. Alright, so this is one of two ports from CC1 uh, that Andrew has in the set. And frankly, I'm really excited that this is in. I absolutely adore this level. It was one of the levels that I always felt should have been in... Uh, 
um, CCLP4, but wasn't. But now that I look back on it, I'm actually not too mad about that, because at the very least, we got it in this really cool-looking aesthetic here with the, the thin walls and stuff. So, can't be mad about that, right? I really like this. I think it's meant to mimic, like, a Mario level with pipes and stuff, and at least I think that was the idea. And I think the, the thin walls kind of help with that sort of feeling of being in a pipe. Like, it just has the right feel for me. Alright, so we'll come back to that later, I believe. Okay, yeah, let's go this way. So I need to ultimately get over there. So we do this. Now, isn't there a water tile over there? I don't want to do that unless I'm really sure. Okay, good. It wasn't a lucky timing thing, but you never know. I, I, I just wanted to be safe. Or not lucky timing. It was a blind... You know what I mean. I'm surprised that that doesn't have gravel on it. I feel like that should have gravel on it, or... Because there wasn't a chip on that, was there? It's over here. Oh, that's that. Okay. Alright, so let's go down this way. Uh, we'll come back to that later. Because that's the way out. Okay, so we need to get four blocks through that. Okay. Uh, I'll eventually get to that, but not yet. I like the fact that you don't have to follow them all the way. The Force 4s help with that, which is pretty slick. Okay, this is the part where we do this, I think. Okay, so we can just easily make it through here. I like the fact that you can do a loop here with this, and then come back around this way. That's really neat. Okay, so now we can go over here, get this chip, and then go over this way, and then to where that red key leads us, which is this way. Uh, how do I get up there? This way? There we go. So then I cross over here. There we go. Okay. I'm so glad I don't have to worry about cross-checking. That's another reason why I'm kind of glad that this made it into CC2 instead of CC1. So I need to go... Oh, over there. Whoops. Chose the wrong one. Oh, well. There we go. Really fun level. I, I really like that one a lot. That's that's a really uh, that's a really fun one. All right, let's see what 69 is. And Microsoft account problem. I do not have time for you right now. Nameplate stamping facility, please. Yes, awesome. I got one right. Sweetness. This one I'm kind of surprised made it in in hindsight because this one has. Kind of a bit of a nasty thing here with these force floors where you have to do like that to get through. It's really awkward. I mean, it's not that bad, but if you're not careful, it could be kind of a pain. But yeah, the, the walls and like the layout of this level spells out chip, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, do that. I just want to be careful here. Okay, so now I need to get this block out. There we go. Alright, now for the final challenge. Where I think we need to get these looping, if I remember correctly.
Whoa. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> I love the way that I just bumped into the wall and it just went to the teleport instead of the right way. Okay, so the next level is by H2O. And I'm going to guess either Powder Monkey or Line. Multiple Care. Okay, I had this one much later. I'm not surprised that it's now, though. This one is a really interesting concept where you basically have to push this ice block through this little gauntlet of cloners, which is a fascinating idea. Uh, oh wait, that's that. Oops. Uh, I feel like we're doing the completely wrong thing here. So I need to remember how these would be wired. Um, I also need to keep in mind what direction they're pointed, which you can see with the secret eye, but it's a little difficult to tell. So yeah, we want this one to go here, so it pushes that, right? And then we do this... I feel like I'm doing something wrong here, though. Like, I almost feel like you need to... So there's that. I still need to get this out, though. So wait, what is holding down that... Oh, wait, I need to get both the frame block and an ice block up there to get the flamethrower turned off? How do we do that? That seems... Okay, th this is going to be a bit of a brain teaser for me, because I forgot how to solve this one. This is a very odd level, but I quite like it, though. Odd is not a bad thing. See, I feel like I need to get over to the left, and that's that's the problem. Like, how do I get over to the left? Because I could push this up, but that doesn't really do any good. And I'd also like to get some ice blocks out as well. Like, that would be really cool. So, you know what? For now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try this out see I almost feel like that's supposed to push the frame block out like that right there instead of what we're doing here I'm calling it the fl the frame block I think it's I think it's it's been called like directional blocks or whatever so this would position that down that's interesting So I wonder, can I get this? Okay, I can put you there, which is good. I like that. I just want to make sure I have you in the right place. So that one is going to clone the one that's going to go over that direction, which... That was too soon for that, I think. Okay, so that's where that comes into play. So why does that matter? Why does that need to be there? See, I keep thinking that somehow you need to get a block over here. But the thing is that the, the ice blocks and the directional blocks both completely get killed in that flame jet. So how do you get to the flame jet? I don't have fire boots. So that seems a little a little strange unless Oh wait, the, the yellow tank can hold it down. That's right. So I'll I'll come back to that later. The the main puzzle is getting this this thing out. Alright. I just want it to get over here. 
is there a way I can ensure that it gets over there? That would be really, really nice. So I can't push it left. So I have to push it down, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that's the case. So I can do that. So either button here is going to clone something onto this button. So both of these, these would go down here like this, which is really interesting. I just wish that there was a better way to facilitate all this. So I can do this, I can push it down more, but like, to what end? None of this really seems to really accomplish anything. I mean, I can do that, but like, what does that really do? See, I'm starting to think that you're supposed to get something set up over here. Oh wait, there! You could do that. Is that the correct answer? I think it is. I think it is. Never give up, never surrender. And we just completely lost that. I for That's right, the yellow tank would die there. So... Now what? Uh, I still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I see. That's a block, and the yellow tank is probably going to push it. Okay, okay. I, I, I get it now. Man, I forgot about this level. Okay. So do that. Do this, this, this. Then we'll do that, and then we go back here and do this one. And then we can do that too. Okay, so now that's in place. Great. Okay, so now I can at least get... So here's the thing. Is this going to do any good... Okay, good. That's what I was hoping for. But is that right? Okay, this is really weird. I can only move it all. I'm guessing we messed that up. That, that was probably not the intended solution. But at least we, I think, figured this out. This is... This is a really interesting puzzle. I really like it, though. Okay. So we got that. Okay, there. You don't need the yellow tank anymore. I was being... I was making things way more complicated than, than they needed to be, so... That is multiple care. All right. Whew! All right, that was a really fun decade. I really enjoyed that one a lot. So next time, we're going to get a Jeffrey level. I'm going to predict one good turn. Is that correct? Let's see. Hyacinth. Okay, this was a way earlier than I thought it would be, but I can see why. I mean, it's, it's a pretty small level. So we'll do this one next time, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching once again. Really appreciate the support on the channel. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you on the flip side. So take care, and I will see you next time.